It's okay, it's mid-March, so it feels long past time to talk about New Year's resolutions. Many of us may have fallen off track long ago, but instead of giving up on them, what about rebooting them? We can do that. Here to help us do just that is mindset and development speaker, Danny Stone. Yay! Welcome to City Line. Thank you, thank We're you. so happy to have you here. So how do we get back on track? If we had the plans and the resolutions and we've fallen off, is there a way to get back on? Yeah, the first thing is to recognize that we all fall off track, right? Yeah. And we have to learn to give ourselves some grace. Yes. Sometimes when we fall off track, we're so hard on ourselves, Tracy. Mm -hmm. We're our worst critic. And what we have to understand is that it's okay. Mm -hmm. Acknowledge that you got started. Acknowledge that you took a little bit of action. Yeah. And just understand that maybe you didn't have the best tools or the best plans in the beginning. And a lot of us have to restart again and again and again. We hear that all the time. If you're quitting smoking, you might have to do seven attempts, eight attempts. So it's okay. Yeah, like, you're yeah, not alone. We're all course. doing it that way. So once we've said to ourselves, self, you're okay. Give yourself some grace. What do we do next? Then we need clarity. Okay. See, many of us just roll over the same resolutions year after year. Yeah. But is it what you really wanted? Like, yeah. did you really want to achieve these things this year? Yeah. And so getting, getting clear about what you want and why it's a must and writing it down. Okay. Most of us do not write down our goals and our resolutions, and so it's not, it, does, it doesn't happen. It's not a reality. Yeah. Uh, the whole writing down thing, I hear that tip again and again and again, and I wonder, what is that about? Like, is there something that happens when we're actually writing something down that makes it stick in our brain more, that makes us more accountable? Like, what, why is it so important? It's both of those things. Like, writing things down is an accountability. It right. locks it in your brain. You know, there's something about writing things down that makes, we're making a contract with ourselves. Totally. Accountability is scary. Because <laughs> then you have to look back, you're like looking in the mirror like, oh my gosh, I didn't do it, which is why you should do it. Write it down. Why we have to. We That's, have to we write it down. That's we gotta do it. Yeah. Okay, what's our next step? We've written it down. We've figured out what we are laser focused on. What do we do next? Well, that is, that is it. It's about getting oh, focused. Oh, laser focused now. Right? Okay. We have to get focused. And you know my wife, Trudy. Yes. <laughs> and one of the things that I, we have this joke about is sometimes we're on our way to an event or a restaurant and she'll walk by a restaurant and she'll see what people are eating and she'll stop and look at the window yeah. and see what they're eating. Is she like, I want to eat there now. <laughs> and she does. And I'm like, <laughs> Trudy, we got to get refocused, right? We got to go where we're going. Yeah. And, and I think we're all like that. We all have this shiny thing syndrome. We're always looking yeah. around and we have to get refocused. So the way to get refocused is doing one thing every day towards your big resolutions. What's one thing that you can do every single day? Mm -hmm. Exercise for 10 minutes, read mm -hmm. one chapter of a book, apply for that one job. We yeah. can all do one thing every day. I like that because it breaks it down and I think these should be sort of like actionable things that we can do right. every day that don't feel overwhelming because as soon as you start feeling overwhelmed you just don't want to do I, I want to go take a nap right. like if the list is too long it's like you know what I'm just gonna sit here and do nothing so one little thing every day Danny I love that advice yeah um, is there another step that we need to follow in order to really nail down these resolutions yeah, the final step is really about discipline right. right we have to do it on a consistent basis yeah yeah. And so the two real ways to be more disciplined is to uh, re reduce resistance, mm -hmm. reduce friction, mm -hmm. and create better habits. Okay. And so for most of us, we think that we have to be motivated. I'm not motivated to go to the gym today, so we don't. Right. It's motivation gets you started. Discipline gets you across the finish line. Okay. So removing resistance. Your day starts the night before. Setting everything up the night before. Packing your gym bag, getting the smoothie bag ready, creating your quiet space so you can go and read your book. That starts the night before, so you remove friction the next morning. So you need to be almost like, you need to be almost like, do it how we do our bills. Like, you know, you do automatic withdrawal That's for your right. bills, so That's you don't think about it anymore. Right. It's sort of robotic, but it gets the job done. And that's what the habits are all about, creating those habits, habits so that it becomes automatic. So I want to hear this just to make us all feel better because you're a mindset coach and you're telling us what to do. Do you also fall off track? Of course. Thank goodness. <laughs> Woo! Of course I fall off track. Danny's not perfect. <laughs> That's so good. Not. <laughs> we love to hear that from our experts because you all come in here and you school us and we learn from you, but it's nice to know that we're all human and this is something yeah. we all go through. Don't yeah. punish yourself for that. That's right. Just get back up on there and, 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 and get restart. back. And restart. Reboot. Restart as many times as it takes. That's right. Thanks, Danny. Give him some love. That was great.